it's crazy what can happen when you actually don't let fear hold you back. One of the many magical things about black people is the undeniable diversity, different skin tones, hair textures, eye colors, the list goes on. But of course, everyone is unique in their own special way. Today on Afro, we celebrate such diversity with 10 most unusual black people with enchanting beauty. Number 10. Sydney Black. Hello, my name is Sydney Black and I'm a black girl with naturally blue eyes. While there is a plethora of influencers out there with fake eyes, I mean eye contacts, only a couple of these influencers do actually have real blue eyes. Meet Sydney Black, the beauty vlogger with soul piercing eyes. Sydney's eye color didn't just happen by accident. Her mom also has eyes that look like this. One is blue and the other brown. For some reasons, keyboard warriors who knew nothing about Sydney Black thought it wise to advise her on self-love. What works for white people don't work for black people. Take out the contact lenses and find yourself. Well, not just this one. There are a couple lot more. How dare you tell someone who they should be or what they should look like? Like, even if I was wearing contacts, that's rude. Why? Why do you feel compelled enough to say that to someone? Apparently, her mom has a condition known as Wardenberg syndrome, and so does Sydney. People with number two Wardenberg syndrome suffer from a hearing loss, and I'm deaf in my left ear. Number nine, Tiffany Taylor. I'm about to walk outside with my skin like this for the first time ever. I'm a little bit scared. We can never comprehend the psychological warfare people with vitiligo had to fight every day. Fortunately, women like her always come out victorious. Tiffany Taylor had hid her skin for years, but finally realized her beauty after sharing a photo of herself as a supermodel, Winnie Hallo, for Halloween. Little did people know she actually has vitiligo. The photo got her a lot of attention, even from Winnie Hallo herself. This gave her enough confidence to finally accept herself for who she is. Tiffany was only 14 when she first noticed a white spot on her face. As she was just entering into high school, she says the timing was devastating and led her to hide her condition with makeup. Tiffany has now learned to accept herself for who she is. In her own words, you have to accept yourself. That is the first step to being at peace. This is your body and you didn't do anything to cause this. You should not hide what makes you unique. Love yourself and love others. Number 8. Melvin when we say black people are diverse, well, Melvin is a perfect example of this statement. Melvin likes to compliment her unique looks with her snow white hair. She would make the perfect Targaryen for the next season of Game of Thrones. This unique Fulani woman has been accused of blackfishing. You people are pathetic. I know, right? How can a black woman be accused of blackfishing? Apparently, her accusers claim she had hands that were lighter than the rest of her body. Some also accuse Melvin of spraying herself to look darker than she actually is. She went on Instagram to address the issue. Apparently, I am white. What the f***? What's this world coming to? I'm Gambian. It is crazy how certain people can't let black people rest. Let me rest. Yes, my hands are light. A lot of black people have uneven skin. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think she's blackfishing? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 7. Lucy and Maria Elmer. This is nature trying to put a stop to racism. Meet Lucy and Maria Elmer, nature's most incredible artwork. We're twins. These twin sisters were born on the same day by the same woman, but you can never guess it by just looking at them. Lucy has fair skin and straight red hair, while her sister Maria has curly black hair and a dark skin. The twin girls were born to a Caucasian father and a Jamaican mother. According to them, no one ever believes they are twins because one is black and the other white. Even when they dress alike, people don't see them as sisters, let alone twins. There were times where they had to produce their birth certificates to prove they are indeed twins. Queens. And Lucy says she was sometimes taunted at school. They thought I was adopted. I don't know about you, but these twins are definitely taking the trophy for the most adorable sisters on the planet. Number 6. Pamela Watara. Our peculiarities are not flaws, they are the foundation of our personality. Meet Pamela Watara, a woman with a huge personality. Pamela is a vixen who is in high demand for her, you know what. According to her, when she was 14, her already huge breasts were of different sizes. Her mom took her to see a doctor who said she would be fine once she gets older. It was a great challenge accepting the size of her breasts while at school. She endured all sorts of harassment, but she is proud of what she has and doesn't wait to have them reduced. She flaunts her breasts with every alacrity. Number 5. Extra Calixte Beer. I bet you've never seen a beautiful woman this hairy, at least not on the chest. Because of like the beauty industry making millions off of women, um, 
that's why body hair is such a taboo and they made sure of it that it's a taboo. Well. Meet Kaliste Bia, the woman with the kind of hair men will kill for. Kaliste Bia first started growing her on her chest when she was just 11. As she grew into her teens, she learned through magazines, movies and personal experience that body hair on women was considered undesirable. She tried to hide it and remove it but razor bumps, ingrown hairs and scars made it difficult and painful. She slowly started to realize that her hair was part of her identity and that living by other people's rules is the most horrible way to live. I'm not trying to be provocative, I'm just being me. She has successfully graced Glamour UK magazine and is using her story to inspire women who are dealing with hair problems. And oh, did I mention she's an artist? Number 4. Ali Olankumi. Well, it goes without saying that finding yourself in the right spot at the right time is the key to success. Ali Olankumi is a homeless man. No, was a homeless man who got the opportunity of a lifetime while sleeping under a flyover. A creative director who was waiting for a model who was running late noticed this young man who has all the features he was looking for in a model. His striking looks, stature and skin tone was just perfect. So he approached him about putting on some clothes and posing for some photos. And that's how Ali, the homeless, became Ali, the fashion model. Number 3. Larry Perkins Just gonna have to accept the fact that I have a beard and I'm not gonna change it to satisfy you and anybody else. Only women know what women go through. I'm not even qualified to talk about issues of women, but damn she's one hell of a strong resilient woman. Larry Perkins had full sideburns by the age of 12 and by her mid-twenties she was diagnosed with her citizen, a condition where a woman grows dark cause hair on her face or body. Now she has grown out her beard and set up a blog called My Hair Is Me to empower others. Interestingly, while she thinks of her beard as sexy and all, she still endures cruel comments from strangers and the most prevalent of all these questions is about her gender identity. I'm proud to be a woman, I am not transgender. I'm a bearded woman. You're just gonna have to accept the fact that I have a beard and I'm not gonna change it to satisfy you and anybody else. That's what I'm talking about. Number two, Princess Shingo. Most black women are naturally curvy, but with a waistline like this, questions are meant to fly. Is this real? Can't be real. Surgery? Ah, uh, not possible. What you are looking at right now is no work of Photoshop but a real photo of Princess Shingle. Princess Shingle is an actress, a talk show host and a model but she is most popular for her tiny waist. Her looks are always a huge debate on social media. She was once hospitalized due to the psychological issues she had to deal with. Natural or not, I think these are just beautiful but what do you say? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 1. Shakur Everyone in today's video is special in their own way, but perhaps the most intriguing of them all is Shakul, a boy who was abandoned because of his unusual looks. To add to all the confusion, he is deaf. Shakul has Wardenberg syndrome. As mentioned earlier, another perk of Wardenberg syndrome is partial albinism and autism. In Shakul's case, he experiences partial albinism on his face, hands, feet, and is also deaf. He was adopted by this woman after her mom abandoned him when he was just a baby. Today, Shakul is living a happy life in his newfound home and to add to that, he is known worldwide for his extremely rare looks. Which of these people is the most unique to you? Leave us a comment down there. Do share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.